everyone welcome back to my channel it's Shanoa and if you're new here hello welcome today we are going to be doing another episode of create this book now let me pause and take a second to really dig in and tap and caress my book and give it some love all right let's get into it so funny story this is actually the first page that I did this week but I lost all of the footage to it I didn't even have the footage of what the page looked like before because this is not my video, obviously. This is literally Mariah's video that I had to get a screenshot of because I didn't have my original page before I decorated it. So stay tuned until the end and you will see how this page turned out. So for the first prompt I actually did record is this one and it says create a dedication. Dedicate this page to something, write about it, draw it, attach pictures of it here. Then you're supposed to write your name and what you dedicate the page to. First off, I don't know what that is in the corner. Okay, we'll ignore it because I'll fix that later. But for my dedication, I wrote, I, Shanoa, dedicate this page to rainbows. First off, I sketched out my idea in a random sketchbook. And to make it more clear of what I wanted, I went ahead and sketched it on my iPad just to get the colors down where I wanted them. And then I have decided I'm ready and now I'm sketching where I want each of the rainbows to be and my hair decided to get in the frame. Get out of here. Now that I got all my pencil lines down, I'm going to go in with a micron pen and start outlining everything to make it more clear of where I wanted everything. And my head keeps getting in the frame. Girl, move your head. Anyways, so after I have fine lined everything, I did a little squiggly line around the prompt, but I went ahead and went over the words that I written down in fine liner. I don't know if this happens with your microns if you use micron pens but for some reason every time I use my micron pens even if it's a new pack they end up like drying up for some reason. I don't know why but they always act like they're dried up and I have to get a separate piece of paper and just do a whole bunch of scribbles until it starts working again. But I don't know that happens to me so let me know if that happens to you and let me know if you recommend any better affordable fine liners. So here's the color palette I'm going with rainbow and a pastel version of the rainbow and here I am just mapping out where each dark version of the rainbow and lighter version of the rainbow is gonna go and then I started with the coloring process mapping out where each color is gonna go for my dark version I use like a dark pink instead of red because I thought it would go better with my rainbows in general so if this reminds you of something if you remember when Mariah painted her mural in her second little studio she did like intersecting drippy rainbows so I took that as an idea of what I was gonna do with this page when I first read the dedication page I thought thought doing food or something like that but there's already a food prompt in this book so I went a different way and decided to do rainbows so when I thought of rainbow I thought of intersecting different color rainbow rainbows if that makes sense I just wanted to say it so y'all didn't think I stole her idea basically I came up with the idea to do intersecting rainbows and remember Mariah already did that on her mural so I thought it was my original idea but no Mariah did it first so I just wanted to let you know I wasn't copying her painting just wanted to make that clear we good okay 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 when I was done coloring the whole page, I went in the background of the word rainbow that I written out and colored it rainbow. And here is the final page. I absolutely love this page. I don't know why it's just so beautiful. Here is the next prompt and it says create color combinations, play around with different color combinations, group colors to see how they look together, make note of your favorites. So I started by sketching out my idea and I wanted to do cupcakes obviously. So I thought using the frosting and the cupcake liner would be good to try the two different color combinations. And then I went in with the fine lining with my micron pen. So for the coloring, I started with this first cupcake and I did chocolate cake with this light pink, which is my first color. And for my second color, I did this pastel yellow. And then I went in with the shadows and the highlights for the liner. And who knew a white Crayola color pencil would be good for highlights? Huh. And for the second cupcake, I did a purple frosting and did the shadows and highlights and for the liner I did a kind of hot pink color also I did do a cherry on top and I went in with the shadows and highlights for that for the third cupcake I did funfetti cake if you couldn't see every single color of the rainbow flashing on screen I'll show you one more time do you see it do you see it all right moving on for the liner I am doing this like dark green blue color and then going in with the shadows and highlights for that and for the frosting I'm going in with this light blue and on top of the frosting is like a little dollop of whipped cream so I kind of shade that in. The next cupcake I did this like chocolate cake and this dark blue liner and for the frosting I was trying to make it look like it was flat frosting. I used like a lime green for that but I don't know if that kind of worked to be honest. For the next cupcake I decided to do 
chocolate cake and for my two colors i use this like minty light blue greenish blue color i have no idea and for the frosting i did a red and i really wanted to try to draw different shapes of frosting so they all wouldn't be the exact same because i wanted variety okay for the next one i did the frosting in this pink color i did use three different pinks by the way for each of these and i was gonna do chocolate cake for this but i ended up doing vanilla for the cupcake liner i went in with this like minty green color so actual mint green i guess and then did my shadows and highlights for that one so for the last cupcake i decided to do orange frosting and this one also has a cherry on it i went in with the shadows for this and the highlights for the liner i went in with blue this is like a not a light blue but obviously it's a light blue and i did the shadows for that and then i decided to do the cake in chocolates then i put a little bit of shadows under each cupcake and then i drew little boxes so i can put each color that i use for each cupcake which you can kind of tell but not really and i thought i was done with it but i went and asked my sister for some advice on what i should put in the back and she said to do tiny little stars in the back so i took each color that i use each of the two colors for each cupcake and drew tiny little stars they kind of look like dots but i promise you they're stars and i think it made it so much better i just made sure i did it really light and here's the final page i really like it and i think the little stars just make the cupcakes pop even more and for the last prompt i did this week is this one and it says create a secret secret write a secret cover it up somehow my thought is a fairy who makes my secret disappear so i went with tinkerbell and i drew tinkerbell with a wand which i was really having trouble this page gave me so much trouble i had to do most of the sketching off camera because i just couldn't but i promised i did draw this by myself obviously so i drew tinkerbell and her little friends in the background and then outlined it in my micron pen and i had my laptop right next to me because i could not do this without the reference sitting right next to me and here goes my head popping in frame again are you okay you need do you need help can you see okay and then i go in with the coloring like i said this i don't know why but this drawing just gave me so many problems i think it's because i just can't draw people so like their hands and their heads and their body just everything was not proportionally right i don't know what i was doing wrong i tried okay i tried my best i went in with a posca paint pen there because i kept messing up on one of their eyes and one of their hands it was just bad it was ugly and it was bad but i tried my best i really did it i took like three hours doing this page i tried my best after i finished the coloring of the little fairies i went in the background with a light blue so it looked like they were flying in the sky and for the little yellow fairy i think her name is iridessa i made her have a rainbow come out then I took a separate piece of paper and sketched out a circle and then started coloring that in blue. This is what's going to be covering up the secret message so it looks like it's vanishing. Then I sign and dated the page and put a little star to follow my rule. And here's the final page. I did go ahead and write the secret message so here it is. It says faith, trust, and pixie dust and I wrote it in gold marker. I like this page. I just wish I drew them a little better. I also wanted to quickly show you that I did add Folklore and Evermore to my Taylor Swift playlist albums page i decided to listen to folklore and evermore and i really liked a lot of songs in there so you can pause and read what songs those are this is my final page for this one and here is my simplistic drawing page i drew stick figures playing walking running in the park i drew this dad being chased by its daughter this person walking its dog this person playing with his dog and just it's it's adorable and here is a final look at all the pages i did on camera this week i hope you guys like these pages I really love these pages. I like how they turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I never really say this in my videos, but please, please make sure you guys subscribe. It would mean a lot to me and it will help me out and you wouldn't miss any of my videos. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.